Hey everybody, it's Queen Jelly here and welcome to, or welcome back to the Toy Box. As you can see, I have a lot of Monster High dolls up here. This is because it's going to be part one of a two-part uh, video of ranking all of the currently available Monster High G3. Also, do keep in mind though that this is filmed at the beginning of September um, because that's when I have the time for it. It took me about three days to come up with this list and get everybody set up for this. So um, this video I've been working on for a hot minute. Um, so if any vid if any dolls come out um, in September, they will not be included in this list. Also, the collectimate or er, the collector, the fantasy Laguna will not be included in this list because I consider that kind of separate than this. But as of right now, even without that, we have forty two dolls to look at. Um, Sixteen of which will be in the part two. So that's going to be my top 16 are going to be separate than everybody else. Um, that gives me more time to talk about those dolls specifically and why I like them so much. Um, cause I already know that this video is going to be very long and take a lot of time and talking. So let's go ahead and just get into it. Um, also again, this is my personal opinions. Your opinions may differ and that's perfectly okay. Um, this is by no means a direct list. Like even my list changes from day to day even while writing this list it changed a couple times so like this is just my current opinion on monster high g3 which first of all let me say that i love every single one of the dolls that i own i don't regret any of them um even the ones that are here at the bottom of my list because they're still beautiful dolls in their own right they're just not as beautiful as some of the others so <laughs> um we're gonna start with my least favorite doll out of all of g3 and i think you guys probably already know what it is because i've made no secret of my distaste for torlai um which is why she is 42 and 41 respectively um because i just i don't i want to like her i do because i like cats um and you know she has pink in her hair and I like pink, but like, I'm not a huge fan of orange. I just overall, like, especially my bias on this one is that this should have been a Laguna. It would have made more sense and it would have put Laguna at a more even number of dolls with everybody else. Um, and it just was kind of odd because the, the course, it was like, I don't know. There was just a lot weird in that set. Um, but so yeah, and she doesn't, you know, she doesn't have a lot going for her. So she's kind of a very basic doll. You'll find a lot of the sports dolls are kind of in the lowest doll in whichever character category that is. Um, and then next is Torlai, um, her base doll. Reasons why I'm not a fan of her, same as the, obviously as the other one where I'm just not a super fan of just Torlai as a character, number one. Like, I get it. Like, everybody's got to have a villain and like you know, they're going to make products of the villains, whatever. Um, but she's just not, I, she's just not that likable to me. And like her outfit isn't that like cohesive. My biggest, biggest, biggest one though, is that she can't even wear her own backpack. Like it constantly like falls off of her arm. Cause it's the only way to wear it. It's supposed to be like a crossbody sling bag, but because of her tail, it can't go over her feet. And because her head's too big, it can't go down. So like, I literally can't get on her body. Um, and that really is upsetting. Like, I don't know why they didn't just make it a regular backpack. So she could have worn it and like, you just moved her tail out of the way. Um, but you know, there are obviously things I like. I like the Jessica Rabbit hairstyle. Her hair is fairly soft. Um, I think she has a nice, like her phone's nice. I love her shoes, with the little tassels on them, you know, all that. So like, I, there are things I like about her, but she's definitely just doesn't have enough to put her anywhere other than at the bottom for me. Um, I'm not excited about her being in the, the net, in the Furidescent series because I'm, I'm trying to collect all of Monster High, but like, I know that that's going to lead to owning dolls that I don't necessarily like as much as others. Um, so I've debated whether or not I'm getting that one. I'll have to see what it looks like first before I decide. All right, uh, next is going to come up the other thing. Um, besides Torlai, I really just couldn't see myself putting any of the boy dolls above any of the um, other dolls, to be honest. Like, um, so that's why the next ones are going to all be the boy dolls. Like, really, there's not much other reason than that, um, just because obviously the girls have a lot more going for them in the non-binaries, because um, this includes Frankie. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I, Claude, I would say, is my next one down. Um, part of it could just be that I haven't really been able to get attached to him very much because I haven't had him for very long. Like, literally, I've had him for a week or so. 
um, at this point, maybe a little bit longer. It's got to be a little bit longer, but still not for very long. Um, and again, as I've said before, I'm just of the mo monster pantheon, pantheon um, werewolves are not in my tops, but he's really great. He has a really nice, like, full outfit. I love his hair. Um, Roxine's great. Like, I don't know. Overall, like, that's the thing. It's so hard to determine what's the bottom because they're all great. So there's Claude. And then next are going to be the, the deuces, which I think these are sitting backwards because it should be sports deuce. The reason that he's the bottom is I like this face. I think it's really cute, like the skullet face, but I just wish that he had proper glasses so that he could wear either one. But because it's Deuce and he has to always have something on his face, he has to always have this mask on. And like a lot of people gave the glasses that came with the set to Deuce, but they're supposed to be Claudine's sports glasses. They're safety goggles so that she can play with her glasses on. Um, so that's why he's the bottom one. Then I had a hard time deciding between these two, but it came down to the sunglasses on this one because I really like these, sh these like wing shoes. I think these are really cool. Uh, the pants are okay. I just, I like them, but I just think they kind of come out of nowhere. There's nothing else like black and white about his design anywhere. Um, but then, so they're both the same sculpt on both of them. And my biggest thing is that they needed to carve out a little bit of his snakes on the inside so that the glasses fit on his face properly, but they didn't. And it's a lot more obvious with this pair than it is with the other one. Because if you can kind of see, I'll put the other one next to it. They're both like pushed off to the side, but if you have, with the clear glasses, because you can see his, his eyes through the lenses, you can tell much easier that they're not lined up directly with his face. But I do like that, um... Perseus came with the bike. The only thing I don't like is that Perseus is exactly identical in both sets. Like the figure itself is the same. And the other pets have all been different every time we've seen them, which has not been a lot of times, but it's still been enough that every time they've been different. But Perseus was the same in both sets. Um, and then I have Deuce, which I mean, I don't really have much else to say about him. Um, I like the hip bag. <laughs> I like that it can fit Perseus. Um, as you'll see, most of my pets are inside their bags. I think it was a, it was the easiest way to display them, especially because they're not usually sitting on stands. They're usually sitting on the shelf. And then this way it kind of keeps them because accessories love to jump off the shelves. <laughs> um, I'll push these off to this side instead. And then next up, we're going to have um, a lot of the first wave Fearidescent and it, or a lot of the first wave Scalectimates ended up near the bottom. Um, just because like I don't know. I really have, I, and a lot of the fearidescence ended up higher. So, um, but, uh, this is the wave one Skelectimate Secrets, uh, Claudine. Like there's, when it comes to like, even here going on up, like it's, it was so hard to decide which one was my least favorite because it was pretty easy to tell which was my most favorite, but then like determining which was my least favorite was really hard because they're, they're, they're all so good. Um, they're also top tier, so it's really hard to decide what goes below that. Um, but I just kind of went down to, like, the colors. There's just kind of a lot. Like, I love this top with the old skelet on it, but also, like, the green kind of comes out of nowhere otherwise. Um, the hair is cute, but it's not my favorite Claudine hair. Like, it's just, there's nothing that, like, makes her stand out above anybody else, really. It's not that she's bad. It's just that she doesn't really push beyond that. Um... Then next up, we have uh, Skelectimate Secrets Wave 1 Frankie. Um, again, same kind of thing where there's like nothing terrible about her, but also nothing that really stands out about them. Uh, like this um, belt isn't even like this is from the Wave 1 Frankie like that I had to give to them. And then also like the leg having not not having the print on it. And me like I went back and forth with Mattel multiple times. And they kept telling me that like, oh, it's supposed to be there. Oh, it's not supposed to be there. Oh, it is supposed to be there. Oh, we already like, because they did give me a refund for a different doll um, that had a mechanical error in it. And they were like, oh, well, we already sent you a check. And I was like, that was for a different incident. And then they never responded. So like, there's just a lot <laughs> with this doll. But like, I think that this is a good cohesive outfit. I think it's really cute. I love the boots. Um, the hair is just not doing that much for me. It's dry. Um, and it doesn't have that much differentiation from like 
a base Frankie that's super exciting. So like, it's just kind of like, you know, pretty simple of a doll. Um, and again, like this, like not having the print on it is really upsetting to me. So that's why sh they are so low. And then next we have the Skelectimate Secrets Wave 1 Draculaura. Like I said, a lot of these ended up near the bottom. I think it's just because their outfits, they're a lot of fun to play with because they're mix and match, but just as an individual outfit, like they're kind of plain. Um, and the reason that this one is down here too is because I didn't really like any of the combinations um, for the like outfits as much as I would have liked to. So like this shorts ended up with this top because the t other top like just looks terrible with these shorts because it's like a gray top and then these are white shorts so it just kind of clashed really well or like really badly in my opinion anyway um so like this was the best I could come up with in order to make two outfits um because I do tend to display the other outfit that's not going to be included in this because we're talking about the dolls but I do s display the other outfit on a second set of dolls so like I had to make both outfits like work and like um this was like the best I could come up with and so that's kind of why she's a little bit towards the bottom I will say though that this accessory the the frosted like animal crackers really <laughs> boosts her a lot um and then, of course, I love this beret, which also, like, I didn't like putting her this low because I love that beret so much. But it's not my favorite hair. Like, it kind of just, like, covers up everything. I don't know. It just kind of looks squished down on her. So. And then next up, we have Ghoul Spirit Cleo. Again, a really solid doll um, overall. Just has this, like, cheapy plastic material on the front. Um, the dress feels very much like like Barbie <laughs> I hate to say it but like like cheap Barbie where it's like only printed on the front and then the back is just blank which we don't see a lot of with Monster High but this was also part of those very first dolls that we got um and then um which I don't know if you've watched any of my older Monster High videos um you'll know that my first set of these actually got stolen and um I had to repurchase them uh because they got sent to the wrong address and the person like refused to answer their door so um but anyway I digress these are just some of the really oldest monster high dolls or the first like g3 dolls even before core dolls these were showing up um so but I do love this little headband I think it's super cute I love the pendant so she like overall is a really good like solid piece but like obviously could use some some zhuzhing and then I actually am surprised with how low this Cleo ended up being. Um, but I think a lot of it is that I'm not a super fan of this like color for her, like just solid of this color. Like obviously this is in her original design. Like there's, this is the highlight in her regular hair, but I don't know. It just doesn't do as much for me as I would like. I do really like that it's bold and then it stands out. And I love what they did with the Fearadescent where they were all so very different from their base dolls. But at the same time, it's just not, not my favorite just because I just, I like the darker color on Cleo. Um, but I wish that I could have put her a little bit higher just because this side glance is so gorgeous. Like it's stunning. Um, and I just love that we have different face screenings and different dolls. Also, I'm not a super fan of the gold lips. Like they're pretty, but I'm not, not super into it. Um, but this purse is stunning. Like, I don't know. There's just, I love the ice cream that came with this set. Like I love the turban, like fear descents, um, was honestly one of my favorite lines overall. Um, but I also just love winter themed things. So that kind of puts a bias on that, but you know, uh, next up we have the budget Claudine. But she's so pretty. Like, I love this constellation top. I actually really like these, like, boots down here. Um, she has a really nice face. Um, and I just, I was, I'm blown away with how much I honestly love the, the Bujit or the Ghoul's Day Out dolls. Like, um, these were definitely hard for me to find, but I was able to finally find all three of them. Um, I was able to find two of them at TJ Maxx, which was Frankie and Claudine, and then Dracula. I ended up having to order from Entertainment Earth. Um, I did that when I was ordering my um, my special edition Laguna. Um, I ordered Laguna, a the my budget Dracula, and then my spare um, 
Abby because I like to keep one in the box. So of course I'm going to get it from Entertainment Earth because then they have the inbox guarantee. Um, so you make sure everything's nice. Uh, so that way I didn't have to pay for shipping and I finally got all the dolls that I've been waiting for. So anyway, uh, next up we have the uh, budget Draculaura, which um, like I would have loved to have been able to put her higher, but she just doesn't like as far as a Draculaura, she doesn't really put anything new to the table. Like everything she has is kind of, again, obviously they're supposed to emulate the original, like the core dolls. And I just feel like she's just very much like that. And she's very pretty and I'm very happy to have her in my collection. Um, but she just doesn't rank as high as some of the other Draculauras just because she is just very, um, you know, just very basic, which is what she's supposed to be. But it just means that she doesn't rank as high. Um, and this is like the lowest, like any Dracula is obviously because it's the first one we brought up, but like, I'm surprised that any are even this low, but I do really like that backpack. So do, do, do. let's see if we can find some space for her. Next up is going to be, do, 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 do. oh, cork, Cle please. No, I don't want to have to cut this video because I'm never going to have time to render it. All right. So next up is going to be Core Claudine. Um, she is a good doll overall. Again, all of them are. Um, it's just that for me, I just never connected really well with the Core Claudine. Um, like she's really, really cute. Like she has a lot going for her. I do have both variants of the shirt. Um, my, the other variant is just, uh, my inbox one because I do have a inbox collection for just the like main core dolls the only one I'm missing from that set that I want to have in box is a um Clio I have everybody else that I want in box in box um but again it's only for like the core dolls that I have an inbox set but anyway um I'm not a super fan of this on top of her head, although I did make it a little bit better. I took a little bit out and like wrapped it around so it's at least a little bit cleaner, um, but it's just not my thing. Again, as I was saying earlier with Claude, I'm also just not super into werewolves as far as the monster pantheon goes. So like um, that also it kind of puts her a little bit lower and like I'm not a huge purple stan. So like it's not that there's anything wrong with her. It's just that for me personally, she doesn't really hit any of those boxes that I like to make a doll higher. Um, I do really like that they went for a character with glasses. Um, as someone who wears glasses themselves, I like to see representation for glasses. Um, as you saw, there's glasses on this Cleo, Claudine. There's glasses on this Claudine and there's glasses on that one that's back there. But then, oh, and the sports one. But then after that, they kind of dropped the glasses, which is kind of upsetting but also at the same time these glasses are really massive and really block a lot of her face like look how pretty her face is without the glasses on and it kind of is a little upsetting because it kind of feeds into that stereotype of like oh you're only pretty if you don't have glasses on um but like at the same time like I don't know they might maybe could have found a better way to do her glasses but it is what it is um and then Next up is going to be, yeah, it should be that way. Uh, sorry, I have to reach across my desk. Is going to be the sports, uh, Claudine. So, same kind of thing as before. Like, she's very, you know, obviously very simple, uh, design as far as overall, uh, design goes but I don't know I just thought there was something about her that she's just really even though she's simple she's really pretty um she has these really cute glasses and I don't know I just liked her I think she's very like Claudine-esque because Claudine is kind of like almost sporty but not quite so I like seeing like a more sporty look on her um I just think overall she just has a really nice clean vibe um usually she holds her casket ball but like I said accessories love to jump off my shelves so there she is. I'm actually, like, surprised that I put her higher than Cora, but here she is. I think it might just be because she's just nice, clean aesthetic. Like, you can, like, look at her and know exactly what's going on. Um, whereas there's a little bit too much going on with, like, the fur and stuff. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah. And then we have Sleepover Frankie. Which, again, like, at this point, like, it's so hard to, like, even say, like, why 
like it, there's not really much negatives going on it was so hard to like pick the different ones like I love the two different like heights on the socks because of the prosthetic um I think like their entire outfit's really cute like the robe and everything all matches um they even came with another version of their their phone and of course like the laying down pets are so great um I just think that it was a lot was just the hair like I'm not super fond of this like high ponytail and like as far as like Frankie's go to though this is kind of like a a kind of more basic like design like there's just better Frankie's it's not that this one's bad but there's just better Frankie's All right. And then next up is Fearadescent Series 2, or Fearadescent, which is Secrets Series 2, um, Claudine. Um, again, with the Constellation design on their top, this Howl Choker is just, like, fabulous. And then I just love this hair. It's super dry. It's not, like, super, like, nice or anything like that. But just this purple is gorgeous. Like I said, I really love how far they pushed the, like, difference in the Fairidescence. They really, like, went for it. And I just think it works so well on this Claudine. I just think she's stunning. So and then no we fell over um next up we have the laguna from the original secrets line um i really just love this blue lip on her i just think it's stunning um this one is wearing the the studs uh so the other one is wearing the fishbone earrings which i really love the fishbone earrings um but i think it's just because the hat pushes the hair over the ears so that's why I gave this one the studs so basically it came with one stud and one fishbone so on this one I gave it both studs and then, then on my other one I gave it both fishbones um but I just think that especially for as far as the fearidescent or as far as the secrets line goes the first wave um this is one of the more cohesive outfits like this actually like looks like a complete outfit to me although I th believe that I added this hip pack this is from the original um because the second outfits are all an original doll, so that's why they all ha got some accessories from the uh, the core dolls as well. But um, I just love these little shoes. I just think she's overall like really nice. And again, I really love this blue lip on her. I think it's really pretty. Next is going to be uh, Claudine from the Fashion Studio set. So this is the Amazon exclusive set that was a bunch of different outfits and like uh, fashion and like furniture pieces for Claudine and I put this outfit together and that's part of why she ranks so high is because this just feels very like 90s like rapper aesthetic to me um I just feel like like the oversized sweater with the bold prints and then the big skirt um and then the big ring like she just and the bucket hat I love this bucket hat um we did get a bucket hat on another Claudine but this was the first time that we saw the bucket hat um and I just absolutely love it it's so cute didn't we get bucket hat on another Claudine where is she was it one of the um it had to have been one of the secret stalls then um if she yeah it was it's this it's the secrets Claudine. That's why she doesn't have it on because uh, it's on the other outfit. It's okay. You don't have to stay standing. I just need to be able to get to that Dracula or back there. All right. So next up is uh, original secrets um, Cleo. Honestly, um, she is where she is because of the random pink. Like, honestly, it's grown on me. But, like, I just still don't get why she has pink accessories. Like, it just kind of comes out of nowhere. Um, nothing else that Cleo has had has had pink on it. But this outfit, this outfit is stunning. With this, like, big waist gap here where you can really see her waist. Um, someone pointed out to me in one of the videos that I made about body types is that her, her waist is intentionally very small because she's supposed to, cause she doesn't have her organs anymore. So she's supposed to be like sunken. Um, and like the fact that they went through that much detail and that much thought when making and designing the body types, incredible. Um, that's one of the reasons why I even have Cleo's in the first place is because of these mummy wraps because originally I was going to be very limited on my monster high dolls but then 
Um, I saw Gulia. No, I was going to get Gulia. I don't remember who it was. There was two dolls that I was debating on and one of them was Cleo. And I went into the store and I looked at her and I saw her mommy wraps and I went, I need that doll. So I got Cleo and then whichever was the last other one that I was debating on, um, I got maybe... I don't know. And I, th at that point, that's when I decided that I was just going to end up collecting all of them. Because if I had gotten Cleo, I was only going to be one short anyway. Um, it honestly might have been Claudine. Um, because I know I was going to get Gulia Because I already had her pre-ordered. Is this the correct order? I think so. Yeah. All right. Because this was a doll that I had really high ranked originally. So I don't know how she kind of got where she is right now. No, it has to be the other way. Sorry, I just ruined the top of the, the, the end of the video. But um, it has to be the other way. So this is my sports Draculaura. Which, um... I really like her, like, ponytail. I think it's, like, super cute and, like, really stands out. I like the, like, the big bat bow at the top. Um, I wish these weren't as heavy as they were so they didn't fall out as much. But at least they do have the handles so I have something to, like, rubber band them on. So for, like, display purposes they work. But, like, for play they kind of are way too heavy. I'll have to fix that. Also, this is the one that they had to give me my money back on because the knee is messed up and it doesn't uh bend or straighten correctly so they had to like refund me on it um but otherwise like i absolutely adore this doll i think she's really cute um and that was just a like random manufacturing mistake and not something that's like indicative of this doll's design overall it's not like it was poorly designed it just didn't what happened was is there was a big extra chunk of plastic on it so it just didn't release from the mold correctly um so that wasn't like, so that I don't hold that against the, like the design of this doll. I'm going to have to replace this when I'm not trying to talk. So, um, also I love her little shoes. They're so cute. Yes. Would it have been better if the socks were separate? Sure. But like, I get why they're not, especially cause these were again, the very first set of these dolls. So they were a little bit, you know, experimental, um, and not as quite detailed as the ones that we are getting even, you know, now a year later. Um, and these two kind of are equal to me, so that's why I couldn't tell which way the line was going, because it's hard to tell which one I put above the other one. Um, but it's Monster Ball Laguna. Uh, I just, that Monster Ball was just, is just so pretty. Um, I love the, like, 80s-esque aesthetic. I love this huge flower. I think it's so cute. Um, I love the shoes. They're really stunning with the, like, ropes and the coral details. Like, I just love this whole all together design the only thing that was poorly designed in this collection was just the accessories um but you know this one i can at least kind of fudge and make it look like it's supposed to um it's it's hard because you know the dolls are highly articulated especially for the price range that they're in but they're not perfectly articulated so you know not all accessories are going to work out as well as others you know so there's Laguna. And then next is Monster Ball Claudine, which again, despite the fact that her accessories is the one that I can stand the least because I was the most excited about them and they worked the worst, um, because she came with a set of balloons that were too heavy for her to hold properly. So like, um, they're really cute because they have like the skelet and stuff on them, but she can't even hold them. So that kind of defeats the purpose. Um, but yeah, I just, uh, adore this purple suit. I know that this is a callback to a, an original Claudine. Um, I don't really have much for G1, so, like, I don't have that doll, obviously, but, like, she's just absolutely gorgeous. I think that this was such a cool, like, idea to, like, pull off, like, a, a pantsuit and, like, everyone else was wearing, like, dresses and stuff. Um, and I, I don't know, just overall super strong design. I'm not all, usually a fan of like top knots, but I think this one is so well done because it's nice and clean and then has the bracer on it. So like it looks intentional. It doesn't look like it's just like a mess on top of her hair. Um, the tinsel is very minimal, which I don't normally mind tinsel, but like I know a lot of people do. So I like that it's only like in 
the like stylized portions. And then this down here is just so, so soft. So I don't know if it's a different hair than Polly or if it's just the treated hair like that we got with the original uh, Clio. But either way, this is one of like the softest Claudine hairs that we've that we have. I think it is the softest Claudine hair that we have. Um, so yeah, she's just a very high ranking Claudine. And I also love the like multiple colors in her lips. And then I'm gonna switch these two. Um, Cause next up we have Cleo, which like I said, um, her original doll was like part of what sparked me into being like completing the collection. Cause like at that point, like I said, I was only missing two dolls. And so getting Cleo meant I was only missing one. Um, so it was either, I it just, it was either Claudine or Torlai. Um, but either way, like all that matters is that like this doll is just stunning in every way. Like I said, I love the mummy wraps. I know some people don't, but I think that that's just an amazing detail. Um, I think the fact that uh, she's one of the taller dolls is also has a lot to do with it i also really like this hair blend like it's just so pretty and the tinsel is just so well done it makes it look like a flowing river and it's just gorgeous and i love the pyramid backpack with the little extra scarabs that you can like take off and everything like it's so cute so stunning um and then we have core laguna uh She's just great in all her pink glory um, with her little her little fishy and everything. And she has, of course, this amazing, like, piranha hip bag. Um, I love it. I love that they've been giving some of them, like, because also um, Abby has the same thing where she has a hip bag and a backpack. Because I do the same thing, especially when I'm going out to, like, a park or something. I'll have, like, my, like, things I need to get my hands on right away in my hip pack. And then, like, things that, like, I don't need as often in the backpack. So I have, you know, uh, some more storage. But usually I'll keep, like, my phone and stuff in my hip bag. So, like, I like having the options of both. So, really cute. And, of course, you know, we love our little fishy friend. And I love how she can hold her. Like, I think it's great. And then for this video, last but not least, we have our Fearadescent Laguna. Um, I love this split dye. I think it's so cute. I love that it's the exact opposite of her original. That's mostly blonde with a little bit of blue and purple, where this is split blue and purple with a little bit of blonde, almost in the same places where the blue and purple would have been. Um, and I just think that that's such a cute and fun play to keep the character like within the same like vibe, but very different. Um, this is the only one that I decided to wear the stole on, but it is also the only one I decided to put the other shirt on because I just think that the shirt and skirt vibe better together than the other shirt did. Um, it didn't really have too much going for it. So like, I just felt that this one was a lot more fun. Um, and then I love this necklace. Of course, I love the ice cream treats. This purse is great. These gladiator boots are stunning. Like, honestly, I loved the shoes on both both of the shoes in this set um it was really hard to decide which one I wanted to display them in but I decided to leave the gladiator shoes on this one just because of the plastic wrap I decided not to take it off and then just left the gladiator shoes on um but yeah I just think it's stunning um the hair wrap doesn't really stay as well as I would like but it still works and so yeah all right so there is the first part that I have for this video um it's got about 33 minutes long so that's a a good length about average for my videos so tomorrow I will be posting which this should be going up on the 29th and then tomorrow is October 1st should be going up my top 16 uh, Monster High G3 dolls from our first year of of uh, Monster High. So thank you for celebrating with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe especially if you want to see part two coming out tomorrow and we will see you all then. Bye!